chat GPT, I then run it through Quillbot, which paraphrases the content. Yes. I will then use Grammarly to tidy it up, and then a human editor comes in, so it's a a four-step process. There's so much of information available on SEO right now because of the like like videos content is too much about SEO. Like everybody is having their own opinion on SEO right yeah. now. Yeah. Okay, hello, hey guys, I'm Jitin Masoni here and I'm sitting with the champion, SEO champion, Crack Gamble. Everybody knows him. He's a SEO ninja, I would, I would say, and he's speaking at all the like top-notch conferences, right, Crack? No, yeah, finally. Finally, like, <laughs> like we are meeting again back to back. So, Crack, like starting with you, how long you have been doing this SEO stuff? 20 years, 20, 20, 22 years to be exact. So. 22 years yeah. is such a long experience right yeah. and right now a lot of chattering is going on in seo world about ai chat gpd and bard what are your thoughts on that <laughs> it's hard to say right now um i love the thought of being able to use chat gpt yeah. we all want to to scale get scale, speed. Yeah. it's quality enough for google to allow it to remain ranking well and in google's yeah. index i'm not so sure about so I'm on the fence just now. It's still too early to say whether this is good or bad. You know, I think ChatGPT in general is good. You can do your social media shit with it. You can you can do a whole lot of different things with it. But yep. from an SEO perspective, can we put that shit on our websites? But I'm not sure. what I've seen, like AI is helping you to create a good content. Google is also saying in their guidelines right now, mm. you can use AI content as long as it's helpful. Yeah, but Google say a lot of things and it's not yeah. always accurate. So yep. I have physically seen AI content being slammed. Um, so I've tested it um, and I've seen it dipping off. You know, I've, for, for the last couple of years, I've been using Jasper, testing all this Jasper, stuff as well. Yes. Now, ChatGPT is not Jasper, of course. It's not. Of course. Yep. Um, however, I have seen so many people's websites going up with AI content, AI content. and then falling off the cliff so it remains to be seen through my own testing i think you have to do more than just take chat gpt content and put it on a website i think you've got to have Edit. a human editor you maybe yes. want to paraphrase that content you may have to do a little bit of work and then it may work for you however just taking it from chat gpt yep. straight onto a website for me isn't something i'm going to do at the moment until i get more conclusive <laughs> evidence like that data, it works right. yeah 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 because Matt Diggity is posting case studies too on yeah. like AI content his site is growing because they have a human intervention there right like they they are like human editors are, are, are like out there to to make sure your content looks human readable yeah. right that's exactly. what I believe like you can use AI content as long you edit it well like yeah. copy scape everything looks yeah 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 so this you know that forms part of a process yeah uh, and people will you know for me I yeah. think catch I then run it through Quillbot, which paraphrases the content. Yes. I will then use Grammarly to tidy it up, and then a human editor comes in. So it's a, a four-step process um, to, to, to put an article up. That is what works for me at the moment. However, people will make tools to yep. do all of this in one tool. You know, right. I know that there's tools coming, so it's exciting, um, exciting times. I've used this AI detection tools and some of like the articles from 2014, 2016 is showing AI content. Yeah, 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 and yeah. at that point of time, I, I was not knowing about AI content. Yeah. And I think these tools are not so much accurate. Like, no. like what do you think about these tools? No, they're not accurate um, by any means. However, yeah. Yeah. is that what Google are going to be using right. to determine whether our right. content's AI or not? So right. again, it's just something else to think about. And uh, yeah, you just have to edit as much as you possibly can is the best thing for us. Yeah, so so what's the best piece of advice you have ever received on SEO? Like in your <laughs> career of twenty two years, such a long period. The best piece of advice, advice you have ever received on SEO. Um stop working with clients. Stop working with clients. Stop working with clients was probably the best piece of advice. Why? So for many years 
I work with clients like everyone else. Yeah. And uh, I've got to say, don't, maybe not working with clients is the wrong thing to say. Maybe not working with certain types of clients is the best way to do it. So I spent right. a lot of time working with the wrong people. Yes. And uh, I'm good at ranking websites. So why would I rank your website? Is and make you money? Yes. Like, what, why would I do that? So that was the biggest thing that changed my mindset. And that's why I went from client work to doing affiliate marketing. Because why should I make you a millionaire? Why? Like instead of I yeah. should be the millionaire, right? Yeah. So that that's that was the best piece of advice. And what's the worst piece of advice we have received on SEO? Oh, there's lots of it. <laughs> um, Google, <laughs> Google <coughs> will link naturally to your great content that's out there. You know all of these things that you when you start out in SEO, people will tell you, oh, "Don't do this. Don't you do should that. do that." You know, all of that stuff is crazy. I spent five years of my life going round in circles going, should I do this? Shouldn't I do that? Yes. Do I believe this guy or this guy? There's so much misinformation out there. Um, yes. And until you kind of get some experience and, uh, and use common sense, <laughs> you know, Google is not going to rank, or Google's not, going to reward a great piece of a plumber's content with natural backlinks. That is not going to happen. So You need a backlink. You need backlinks. Uh, it's important. You know, I think that was one of the things I was always scared of at the start of my career. You know, there was a lot of misinformation on that. Uh, and right, uh, right, right. And then I went the complete opposite way. I've done PBNs. I've done all sorts of black hat right, stuff. Yes, yes, I know. And so I went from being, trying to not Yes. Editate Google to go, nah, I'm going all out. I'm going to try all this stuff. Um, and I think, you know, somewhere in between is where I'm at now. Obviously, you, you have to play the game to some degree. Yes. Um, yes. But try and make it look good is the, you know, the where you want to be. But, you know, for me, at the start, SEO is very overwhelming. There's so many guys talking about all sorts of different things. You can right. become very, very confused very Ex easily. There's so much of information available on SEO right now because of the like, like videos, content is too much about SEO. Like everybody is having their own opinion on SEO right yeah. now. Yeah. So for me, the I, I, I used to listen to a lot of different guys uh, and I had to narrow that down to two or three guys that I believed, believe, yeah. knew what they were talking about uh, and tried to shut out. Uh, the rest of the the noise that was out there, right. and fortunately, um, those people that I followed have uh, came good, so um, it was all good. It's it's all good. So, do you think like backlinks will matter in twenty twenty three? Like expired, like buying expired domain with a strong backlinks will matter a lot in twenty twenty three. Yeah, hundred percent. It's worked very well for many years, and uh, why not leverage someone else's old domain authority? You know, it's crazy not to. So if someone if you get an expired domain name that's got ten years worth of backlinks, you're saving yourself a lot of time and effort. So for me, that stuff works very, very well. Okay, so if I ask you about your uh, like your revenues, what are your major revenues? Is it from affiliate marketing or like you have done some investment in real estate or crypto or stock market? So I have a big e com store, okay. which is where oh, wow. a lot of my revenue comes from. I do make some good money through affiliate. I do have some properties. So my okay. advice to anyone is when you make money through SEO, I don't care who says this, you do not know when this shit's going to stop. Yes, he's right. So you've got to move, spend the away, diversify your income streams is the, the, the best advice I could give because I don't know if... SEO is going to stop tomorrow. I don't know if Google's just going to cut SEO off. Now, I don't think it will. However, for me in my head, I want to diversify my income streams. I want some money to come from e -com. I want some money to come through affiliate. I want to buy and sell some some uh, websites. websites. And right. I want to make money on property. And I will continue to invest in other um, opportunities that come along. So, so think, diversify your income. So you yeah, diversify because... We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow with Google updates, updates. Uh, whatever. So one of, if I was all out on the e-com store, for example, 
and Google does an update and it wipes me out, I'm finished. You know, I'm, I'm finished. So uh, that can't happen. So I think <laughs> the older you get, the wiser you become. The wiser you become, um, right. So like anyone, you know, you look at guys like Neil Patel and stuff who are also at this conference. That, you know, that guy's got his money spread all over the place. He's got money. He's got tools. He's got... He's investing in tools. Like, he's got the public right now. Yeah. Recently, he acquired. So, you know, who... That, but, you know, these are guys that, that have been in the industry as long as me. And you, you watch these guys. What is this guy doing? You know, he's buying up this. He's buying up that. He's spreading his... Uh, spreading his income streams. And I think that's a very wise move. And you look at any of the top guys that are out there, they're all doing the same thing. Even, you know, Matt Diggity and stuff. Buying I'm the products, sure. investing yeah. in products like, so, like Surfer. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, whether it's investing in SaaS, whether it's investing in a digital asset, whether it's investing in his own agency, you know, these guys are all making money um, from, from all different... Um, income sources. Income yeah. sources. And that's why they're at the, the top of the, the game. And I think for, for me, you, you learn a lot from these guys. You know, I went to... Chiang Mai, um, four or five years ago, um, and I'm going again this year. And you can't help but learn from that that crowd, um, and that's that's you know we're always. It doesn't matter who you are, you're always learning something from someone else, and you know just different ideas and stuff. So, because Craig, you're going to speak in Cyprus, yes, Island Conference. So. How, you, how do you get all these speaking gigs? Because you might be making good money with that and you're sharing a lot of great knowledge on the stage. So <coughs> you want to share some insights on that? <laughs> so it's difficult. So I started speaking maybe seven or eight years ago. Okay. Now you're at the start of your speaking career um, and I, I, I have massive respect for what you're doing. I see you Thank traveling you so much. to uh, you so much. Malta, you're traveling to all of these other other conferences and it's hard to get your name on stage when you yes. you're unknown and uh, you have to beg you you know at one point i had to pay to speak at an event i had to pay i had to pay money to share knowledge now that's how hard it wow. is um i was confident enough that i had the knowledge and the experience to to talk well but no one would give me an opportunity because my name wasn't going to sell a lot of tickets. Unknown, yeah. So, you know, someone, and I don't mean this disrespectful to you, but if there's two, one speaking slot left and you're, you're there or Neil Patel's there, Neil yeah. Patel's going to sell all the of tickets. Course. So, of, of course, course, you you get ignored. And it's hard to get up to that level of being able to, to do it. But obviously, you're doing interviews, you're doing right. content. Right. I've done yeah. all that stuff. I've had podcasts. I've done everything. I've paid to speak at events. And then it changes. Then people go, ah, right, this guy talks sense. Yeah. Um, he knows this shit very yeah. well. And then you build up your reputation till there comes a point where people invite you to the conferences. So yeah, I don't yeah. I don't pitch to speak at conferences now. Um, but I did back in the day. I was pitching everywhere, probably like you do now. Pitch here, pitch there, pitch there. Yes. Um, I was pitching in the beginning, then I was getting all these speaking gigs, yeah. Um, so in the beginning, I, I need to like invest my own money, like yeah. like the flight, so the... Yeah. yeah, so it costs a lot of money and a lot of time and uh, yeah, a yeah. lot of effort. And, and that's where, as I say, I've got massive respect for you because... Thank you so much. Um, you know, it, it costs money, time, travel. You, you, you're not focusing on your actual money, you know, business. Uh, so it's, it's a big ask. And... Uh, you know the truth is, unless you unless you sell tickets, unless you have a name, um, you, you're going to struggle to get on the big stages. And I found it really hard over the years. Um, right. And I, as I say, I've travelled the world. I've even been in India, and um, Sam yes. Rush. Yes, I, I, Rush even, yes. Yeah, so Sam yeah. Rush. I was lucky enough to do a lot of work with them. They took me to to India. They're taking me to other places, and uh, that helped massively as well. So. Um, you, a lot, yeah. you know, a, a bit of luck along the way. The, the same rush picked me up probably early in my speaking career. Um, wow. So I've done a lot of webinars and, and then done some conferences for them. Yes. Uh, and again, that was just luck. So that helped me. Same rush are obviously one of the, the biggest companies in the the industry. So I, I was fortunate to be good friends with the guys at Same Rush, and that helped me massively as well. But as I say, you've got to just go out, spend a lot of time. I travelled the world um, unpaid uh, for a period of time. Um, you know, 
going out to Chiang Mai and everything. Yeah, because um, it takes a lot of time. Like, right, yeah. it's not easy to travel because you have been traveling a lot. Because yeah. I'm seeing like you're traveling everywhere, like, like giving value to the people, and it's yeah. not easy. I think traveling no. makes you. <laughs> I'm going to change. Uh, I'm not going to do as many speaking events anymore. Okay. I'm only going to try and do maybe five a year. Five something a year. like that but at the start i was doing 15 20 a year wow um, you know last year i was in i flew from america to malta I, um we met way. in poland you uh, know prague in we back prague Czech um, yep. all over the place so um i think i was two or three times in america last year i, I was in prague i was uh where else was i can't even remember i've, I've lost like um, so He's all traveling over. a lot. He's traveling <laughs> a lot. So you cannot remember. Because last year I was traveling from Czech because I, I was speaking at three countries. Czech Republic, then Cyprus, then Romania. So three back to back. Yeah. I got food poison. So, you know, still I was giving value on the stage. Like my stomach was hurting badly. But still I was like on the stage in Cyprus. Like I got a food poison at that time. But still my talk was like the best talk. So they really yeah. like it because they took the feedback from the audience. Yeah. And I've shown them the live data like... Oh, like open up my live like Google search console and they can see my keywords. I say this is my open blog so you can see it. Yeah. So I'm very open with, with my strategies. It's um if you know as long, if anyone wants to get into it, see as long as you can be honest and transparent. Yes. That that's kind of what people would respect me for. Um you know I'm not a professional speaker but I give good advice uh away and I, I don't mind telling people about mistakes I've made. Um, so I think people people like that and uh, you know eventually yeah, if you, you be you, very honest and transparent so people will appreciate you all the time yeah. so I that's believe. what people like okay your favorite food Jeez. chips 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 okay favorite city in the planet Barcelona why Barcelona I don't know I just love Barcelona I've always been a fan of uh, the the football team in Barcelona okay. and uh, yeah I, I just think it's two hours flight from Glasgow where I stay and it's warm they're a massive football club and yeah I love it um, your favorite hobbies except like if you want to share something like while you're not working uh, boxing boxing and yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I try and do a bit of boxing um, football is another one I'm a massive football fan um yeah uh, that's probably my two okay main. and greg if you want like 20 million dollar in a lottery like tomorrow what you will do with that money 20 million dollar and you want it and what you will do with that money probably probably invest in a nice sas tool in a sas tool yeah anything else like will you do some kind of charity or i'd probably do something for charity um but I think the biggest thing for me that I've not done yet is is, is get involved in a SAS tool. Yes, SAS tool, uh, yeah. I ticked a lot of boxes in my SEO career. You know, I've owned an agency. I've done affiliate marketing. I've spoke on stages. I'd love to to one day see that that's my tool. That's the, the okay. goal. And uh, yeah, one day, one day I'll get there. It's just coming up with the right idea as well. But if you've yes. got money... That also helps massively yeah, yes. <laughs> getting things So worked. what's your focus in 2023? Um, less, speaking, uh, less speaking and making more money. Uh, making more money. Flipping more websites and uh, yeah, just enjoying life. There's no crazy goals. Uh, I think just trying to get the work-life balance uh, in order, not traveling as much yeah. as I was. So okay. nothing crazy. Uh, I'm quite happy with everything I do. It's is SEO is dead in 2023 because of AI? No. It's still no, there. It's still there. Still I think there. Uh, I think we've still got a long time to go. Um, I think AI is exciting. I just don't think it's exciting. going to be as big as people think it's going to be okay. at the moment. Okay. Are you an early bird or night owl? Um, probably a night owl. You're like me. Like, <laughs> like most of the SEO experts I meet, they are night owl for sure. Yeah. Okay. What is your proudest accomplishment like you have received? Um, probably my son being born. Oh, um, wow. That's so, so good. Um, I, that came later on in life, but he's four years old now. So nah, I, I think that's the, the one. I'm okay, very, very what are you of. grateful for now? Grateful for 
Yes, no, to be fair. <laughs> Grateful for Yes, you. It's been good to me. Um, you know, we have a good life. We earn some good money. Yes, yes. And yeah, so I am very, very fortunate to have found SEO at an yes. early stage uh, in the the year 2000. And uh, yeah, I'm grateful for SEO is, is the, the honest answer. It's been good for me. Um, I had shitty jobs before. Mm. Um, so no, I'm massively grateful for SEO and being able to sit here with guys like you in Dubai. It's a good life. Okay, what was the best and the worst year of your life? Best and worst? Um, worst would have been a long time ago. Um, I had a lot, of, as I say, I had a lot of shitty jobs, earned no money. Okay. So probably in my late teens, um, I would say late they were teens. fairly shitty years. Drinking too much. Didn't know what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, earned no money. Uh, and so that was pretty crap. And the best year? Best year. Jeez. Um, this year. Why not this year? Uh, okay. So Very good. starting off the year in Dubai and let's see where it takes us. Okay. What's like, this is my last question. What's the one piece of advice you want to give to someone who is watching this video interview and they want to get started into SEO? Be careful who you follow. Be careful who you follow. That's a very good advice. Thank you so much, Craig. I really appreciate your time, man. No I don't want to make this long and uh, like a boring interview. Like it's short <laughs> and sweet, and you have shared a lot of great insight on AI, SEO, your personal life. It's pretty good. Like, Craig, thank you so much for doing this. Interview. No worries. I really appreciate it. And guys, please like and share this video. Come on, show show some love. Thank, thank you, you, guys. guys. Wow.